Repair Clinic encourages you to perform this procedure safely. In this video, we will show one or more of these icons to alert you when to use caution. Before you replace the blade spacer plate in your hedge trimmer, make sure the engine has cooled. Next, you should remove the wire and boot from the spark plug to prevent the engine from accidentally starting. We recommend wearing protective gloves for this procedure. We also recommend emptying the fuel tank. Set the trimmer on its side with the muffler facing down. Use two 10 mm sockets to remove the locking nuts securing the trimmer blades. Remove the blade guard and washers, along with the tip guard. Now set the trimmer upside down and use a T27 Torx bit to unthread the screws securing the gear case cover. With the screws unthreaded, lift off the cover. Remove all of the blade mounting bolts and washers. Use pliers to lift out the felt seal. Remove the outer spur gear and carefully lift off the lower blade. You can now lift out the old spacer plate. Install the new blade spacer plate by positioning it in the gear case. Realign the lower blade with the sharp edge facing the upper blade. Replace the outer spur gear with the cam aligned on the opposite side of the inner gear cam, making sure the holes in the gear are in line with the blades. Adjust the lower blade until the gear sets into place. Replace the felt seal. Confirm that the gasket is in place on the gear case cover, then realign the cover and secure it with the screws. With the washers intact on the mounting bolts, thread the bolts through the trimmer blades into the support. The longer bolt goes through the handle. Set the trimmer on its side. Realign the blade guard on the mounting bolts, then position the washers. The manufacturer recommends using new mounting nuts to secure the blades. Thread the nuts and tighten the mounting bolts. Now loosen the bolts a half turn to ensure proper blade tension. Tighten the nuts to lock the bolts in place. Replace the tip guard and secure it in the same way.
With the repair completed, reattach the wire and boot to the spark plug and refill the fuel tank. To ensure the hedge trimmer operates smoothly, we recommend injecting some lithium grease into the gear case.